innovative pioneering project in Europe committed to sustainable development. The Camp de Tarragona plant in Spain reclaims wastewater from the Vila Seca Salo and Tarragona water treatment plants to be reused at the Petrochemical Industrial Park, which is built around one of the largest oil refineries in southern Europe and is supported by a large commercial harbor. This approach allows these industries to replace drinking water by reclaimed water, thus relieving natural water resources for urban supply and meeting the demands of development and growth in the area. With a treatment capacity of 19 million liters of water per day, a flow equivalent to the daily consumption of Tarragona, this project, 85% financed by European cohesion funds, was promoted by the Catalan Water Agency together with Aitasa for the companies of the Chemical Industry Association of Tarragona. The goal was to achieve an independent supply in response to the water needs of the territory, characterized by increasing industrial, touristic and urban development and conditioned by its Mediterranean climate. The whole design process of the plant, as well as the technology supply, has been commissioned to Veolia Water Technologies. AIDASA, in joint venture with Veolia, has assumed the operations and distribution of the reclaimed water to the complex as an added value to the service it has been providing since 1965. The raw water reaches the plant from the secondary treatment of the Vila Seca Salo and Tarragona plants and is stored in a two-chamber regulation tank, each chamber having a usable volume of 3,060 cubic meters. Then, the water is pumped to the first stage of the process. This first stage consists of a physico-chemical treatment carried out by Veolia's ActiFlow technology, designed in two lines with a maximum treatment capacity of 625 cubic meters per hour per line. ActiFlow is an advanced ballasted flocculation process that quickly and efficiently clarifies the water thanks to the use of microsand, which allows the formation of flocks of higher specific weight. This unique operational feature allows for shorter flocculation times, high settling velocity, and a highly compacted process that requires between 5 and 30 times less space than other conventional clarification processes for the same treatment flows. In addition, thanks to its robustness, ActiFlow absorbs the inflow peak loads, even in cases of very high variations, guaranteeing the process and acting as a protection barrier for the subsequent stages. The main purpose of this stage is to achieve a high removal efficiency of suspended solids, thus avoiding organic and biological fouling of the reverse osmosis membranes. To meet this objective, the water passes through various stages. The clarified water is then passed on to two Hydrotech microscreen filter systems. These two systems are highly compact with a large filtration surface. Each system is equipped with 10 discs of 10 microfilter cloth and a treatment capacity of 937.5 cubic meters per hour per unit. The water to be treated flows by gravity into the filter segments from the center drum. Solids catch on the inside of the filter cloth. Next, the water passes on to a double stage filtration by gravity and pressure. This stage retains the last particles in the water. The gravity filters have a total treatment capacity of 1,182 cubic meters per hour, while the pressure filters have a treatment capacity of 1,062 cubic meters per hour. The reverse osmosis stage represents the heart of the process. The target is to achieve the water quality demanded by the end users 
and to meet the requirements of the Spanish legislation regarding reused water quality for cooling towers and other industrial uses. This stage consists of two double pass lines, each with three stages and a production capacity of 788 cubic meters per hour at the end of the second stage. It also has a permeate providing a turbidity value below 0.2 NTU. Conductivity between 10 and 20 microsiemens per centimeter, suspended solids under 2 milligrams per liter, and very importantly, ammonium the value of which is less than 0.1 milligrams per liter. In the final stage of the reclamation process, the water from the reverse osmosis system is then disinfected by ultraviolet light and sodium hypochlorite. The plant is operated jointly by Aitasa and Veolia ensuring compliance with the required values at all times. The reclaimed water is stored in a tank with 5,470 cubic meters useful capacity, where it is distributed to the north and south industrial complex through a 22 kilometer proprietary distribution network. The Camp de Tarragona water reclamation plant is without a doubt an excellent example of sustainable development as it facilitates the water supply for industrial growth while meeting the demands of both tourist activities and the growing population. Something that is especially relevant in conditions of water scarcity and water stress. Water is too valuable to be used only once. Water reclamation constitutes an essential component of water management contributing greatly to the preservation of our natural resources. Reclaimed Water, protecting our future resources today.